Moving on, what we will learn today is what is currency, what is a base and a code currency, what are the different types of currency pairs. That's what we are going to be learning today. So make sure you pay attention to the end. So when you say what is currency, currency pairs are the national currencies from two countries coupled for trading on the foreign exchange market list. That is what currency pairs means. They are traded in pairs, not what as they stand alone. You trade it in pairs. If you take a look at something like Nasdaq US 30, it's not like a paired currency, you understand? So that one you trade it alone. Or when, when you open, when you want to trade something like stock, it's just that particular one that you are trading. But in currency, you trade it with what? Pair. You bring one other country and pair it with another country's currency. Two different countries, their currency, you bring it together. Then the, 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 uh, their price difference is what you are trading, right? Then, and that thing is what a measure of currency's value against another. Just like I just explained, it is what you are measuring the difference in two currencies. That is how you make money from it. Then let's move on. Then the next thing we need to consider is what is a base and what put currency. When you hear what is base and put currency, what you are talking about, we are going to use Euro USD as an example in this case. Here, let's say you use Euro USD. Remember, this is applicable to other one. We have Euro USD, Euro GBP, any other pair, you have any currency pair. Remember, I told you that we are going to be combining two currencies to pair them together to trade. What that means is, as you can see here, we have Euro, then we have slash what USD, which means we are pairing these two pairs. You understand? So, the first one, any pair you pair, even if it's GBP, USD, USD, uh, card whichever one the first one that appear before this slice is called what the base currency this is the base currency why this one what is the quote the quote currency as you can see you have quote here here is the base currency why this one the second one is what the quote currency if this one comes first and this one comes last it means that this one automatically becomes the base for instance we have what we have a usd card here we are having euro usd let's say we have usd card that one now is showing you that usd is what the base y card is what the code so what i'm trying to say is that the the first one that appear whenever you are pairing two pairs is what the base currency why the second one is the code what does this mean this means that let's say you, you see something like euro slash usd at this price what is telling you is what one euro this is one euro of this is worth what one point what one point three two zero seven dollars that is the equivalent so what this is telling you is that you need what you need one point one three zero two dollars to buy what one euro for you to buy one euro you need what one point one three zero two dollars that is what this is actually showing you that is the way to understand what base and what code remember i said this one is the base why this one is the code when you see euro slash usd at this price it meaning that you need 1.1302 dollars to buy what one euro right so let's continue then we have what they call there are different uh, sorry there are different type uh, of what currency there are different types of currencies currency pairs are divided into three we have the major currency we have minor some people call it minor currency or clauses you understand then we have exotic major currency minor currency or clauses or what then the third one is what exotic so i'm going to be explaining all this for you so make sure you pay attention so the first one is what major currency major currency re represent what developed economies and they are highly liquid with low what low spread these are the characteristics the group country you see uh, like something like a uh, us you understand of uh, us us and and the most of them another thing another one of their characteristics again is that they have usd attached to it they have usd attached to it all right 
So as you can see here, examples of uh, major currency, you have Euro slash USD, you have GBP USD, USD card, USD JPY, NZD USD, AUD USD, USD check. This supposed to be AUD, right? Sorry. So AUD USD, right? So looking at this, you discover that each of them have USD attached to it. You see, USD is attached to this, 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 right? These are the characteristics of what some of the characteristics of what major pairs, major pairs, right? So having understand what major pairs is, remember I told you that major pairs uh, represent what developed economy and a, a highly liquid with what low spread. Their spread is very very low. If you don't know what spread is in a, in a subsequent video, I'm going to be uh, explaining that to you, right? So so having understand the major pair the next thing we are going to consider is what we are going to take a look at what minor pair what are the minor pairs or clauses these are clauses do not include what usd dollar in the currency pairs as you can see here you see this one we have gbp jpy we have gp we have card word jpy we have australian dollar uh, australian card we have uh, euro uh, new zealand you see you see all these Euro Australian, you have New Zealand, uh, Japanese here. So, all this here, you see that there is no USD. It's telling you that what crosses do not what include US dollars. Alright, that's one of the characteristics which I give you examples of what crosses are what are uh, GPP JPY, card JPY, AUD card. We have a uh, Euro AUD and what NZD JPY, right? These are characteristics of what minor pairs. You understand then moving on we are going to take a look at what the last one the last one is what exotic pairs exotic pairs when we say exotic pairs they include currency from developing countries developing countries you understand so we have remember the other one is developed country which is the first one major currency Why the other one is what the second one is currencies currencies that are what that does not include US dollars, which is are the crosses. While we have exotic, which is number three. Here we are talking about exotic. Exotic is saying what is saying that they are extremely illiquid. Illiquid. The major pairs are highly liquid, but the exotic are what illiquid. Let me continue. Exotic include the currency from different countries. So they are extremely illiquid with very low spread. Example you understand Russian rupees. So etc. So that's what you need to understand on this particular one. That's what I have for you.